I stole that mountain art on Etsy. Those are made to order, but um, uh, check out the link in the description of our Etsy shop. Let's see, what, what are you guys going on here? Well, we have these windy things that when the wind blows, it's like that. Well, first let's go check out what damage. Let's go check out what damage they've done. Okay, we, we noticed a, a giant groundhog earlier in our garden, just chowing down. <laughs> I thought it was a rabbit, but we saw, we actually saw the groundhog. Just sitting right here. Oh, look what he's done. Oh, he knocked down this cage. He knocked down this cage. <laughs> My cage that I put up. He just bulldozed over this thing. He did. <laughs> no fight. These are some green beans that he's been chowing down. Oh, these are my dragon tongue beans from we, Baker Creek. <clears throat> we thought it was a rabbit, but it was a giant groundhog. <laughs> this thing was giant. It was like a little bear. <laughs> it was a little bear. <laughs> a baby bear. I'm so sad. I mean, look at they were already like flowering. I mean, we've had groundhogs before. I think this is the actual the worst damage that we've had. This is the most damage. Right? They've never really been a, that much of a problem. Like no, we've, they've never we've been. eaten around the garden. I mean, one time they came and ate one tomato that we noticed. And then, what did they eat? Like sunflower, our sunflowers sometimes. But like yeah, we've never yeah, noticed them really like them. in the garden destroying our plants. So he was going down the rows, just chomping away. How are we going to stop these groundhogs, Penelope? Well, this is how my ideal is going to work. All right, so the girls went out and bought these nice size pinwheels. And you think that's going to work? <laughs> you think that's going to scare the groundhog away? added these kettle panels this is a whole bean row all our beans are on here and they're gonna trellis up hopefully <laughs> onto the kettle panels and then we still need two more kettle panels for our cucumbers and some squash pickling cucumbers they're setting out their tendrils they're looking for something to climb so we need one kettle panel okay. here okay. another one there so two more kettle panels man the bugs are like Fierce this year. Ooh, look at that one too. This is from your pea patch? Yeah. Penel Penny's peas. <laughs> <laughs> Penny's peas. They're really good. Where? Bugs and bugs and bugs. Look at these radishes. Oh yeah. But they're popping out. Let's get this one. This one's ready then. Penelope, you want to pull a radish? Woo! This is a beauty. Should I eat it, Penelope? Yeah. You gotta eat the first radish. Yeah. All yeah. What? Even the first cucumber, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the first cucumber when we get it. It's good. Spicy? Spicy? A little bit. <laughs> Can I try it? Try it. I don't think all of these are ready to be picked. I don't know if we want a bunch of radishes right now. Try them. It's very earthy. It's like a radish. It is a little, ooh, that is spicy. <laughs> it's burning my mouth. It's not as spicy at first, but then like the aftertaste is like, like it tastes like a horseradish. You know what radishes I really liked? These ones are spicy. It was those Easter eggers that we grew a long time ago. Those were yeah. like, they were not spicy. They were just, they were beautiful. Selfie, uh, vegetable selfie. <laughs> Every time you harvest vegetables, you need to take a picture of it and post it on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, you didn't grow it. Otherwise, it didn't happen. <laughs> All right, so we've been uh, doing some uh, diatomaceous earth on some of our uh, food here. Now, this is basically uh, fossil shells. Cuts into... Uh, the bugs. I don't know for certain if this works, uh, but we always do it. Uh, don't 
uh, inhale this stuff. Uh, but basically it just sp spread it all over on the plants. We feel like the bug pressure is a lot stronger this year. Or the bugs came on earlier. And I think because it's been a lot hotter than usual. So maybe not raining and hotter than usual is bringing out more bugs. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but there's a groundhog over there. Well, it would be awesome if you had a, a sifter to sift through this to spread it, but I don't. So what do we do with bugs? <laughs> I think we get this question asked uh, quite a bit. What do you guys do about bugs? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been doing this long enough. <laughs> I, I think it's more of you plant way more than what you need. Yes, that's the answer. <laughs> Probably could have been in there a little bit longer, but it was crowded, so. First Good onion. Time. Hold it up, Penelope, let's see it. Yay! Yeah! So we have groundhogs eating our garden. We have bugs eating our garden. <laughs> we have mosquitoes uh, eating Probably them. rabbits too. Yeah, uh, rabbits. I don't know, I'm assuming. Rabbits. I haven't and seen them, but. Weevils. And weevils. That's new. We've never had weevils before. Yeah, weevils, bugs. So, you know, it's, it's a battle. <laughs> it's that early season battle, but that goes with the territory. I've heard ducks are good. Yeah. They're less destructive. Nice in yeah. the garden.